The Purchase Order Processing Module in Dynamics GP allows me to create purchase orders, receive against those purchase orders, and then invoice those receipts. Let's take a look at how it works. To create a new purchase order, I'll navigate like this. I'll go to Transactions, Purchasing, Purchase Order Entry, brings up this screen here, and I can enter my purchase order. So I'm going to tap through this number here over to the vendor ID. I can look up the vendor or I can key it in. I'm going to look it up in this case and select Advanced Office Systems. I'm going to accept the currency ID of the US dollar. Now in purchase order processing, I can have as many detail lines as I want to. I can start entering them right here in this particular grid. So let's look up one item here. This is a common item I order quite a bit. I'll select that. I'll tap through here and I'm going to put a quantity in there. You can see that it automatically takes the unit cost from the last time I purchased it from this particular vendor. I'm going to select a site ID. It's going to be the warehouse. Now this worked easily for me because I had already a relationship between this particular item and the site, the warehouse. I also had a relation set up between this item and the vendor. Now let me add a new item to this PO and we'll see what happens when that relationship is not set up. So I'm going to look up an item and I happen to know that this item here is not already associated with this particular vendor so I'm going to select that. It brings up this dialog box here which is saying the system does not have a relationship between this particular item and this vendor so I'm going to add that and what that does is allow me to add the vendor item if that might be different from my item. It also allows me to end the, enter a vendor description if I want to do that. And I can add additional order information here as well. So I'm just going to accept the defaults there and continue going. Look up the unit of measure. And I'm going to change the price here. So I could enter as many lines as I wanted to in this purchase order. And one thing you'll find is that the purchase order system in Dynamics GP is very oriented towards the line. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to select a line here and click on this expansion arrow. This brings up the item detail screen. In here I have a lot of dates that the system is tracking. I also have the purchase general ledger account number. This item is already set up to go to this particular account. If I wanted it to go to a different account, I could merely look that up and save it. If this was a non-inventoried item, in other words an item that I was going to purchase for my own use, I would select the GL account that I wanted that debited to when I received that particular item. So this is all I need to do to enter a PO. If I want to print that PO, I can click on the printer icon here. Now my next step is to receive that PO and invoice that PO. Now I've got a couple options there. I can receive the PO and invoice it at the same time in the same transaction, or I can receive it in and then invoice that at a later time, which means I'm going to get the vendor's invoice, I'm going to apply it to that receipt, and then post that into my payables. So let's take a look at the three-point match. The first point being I have an approved PO. That's right here. Now what I can do is I can go to these actions button here. I can receive those PO line items, and then I could invoice them. Let's do it another way. I'm going to access that transaction through the menu up here. So I'm going to go to Transactions, and I want to receive that item in first. So I'll go to Receiving Transaction Entry, and I'm going to tap through here, look up my vendor, and then I'm going to click on the Auto Receive. This will show me all open POs for this particular vendor. Here are the two items we just entered. I'm going to select these items. And I'm going to just accept 8 of these 10. So I order 10, I'm only going to receive 10. What that's going to do is going to leave two of these items on the PO. So I'm going to receive that in. This little wizard will fill out the receiving transaction screen for me. I can look at that. If I change the quantities, I can change the quantities here. But I'm going to accept this, and I'm just going to post this receipt. When I post it, this will update inventory and also create an uninvoiced receipt for me. So now let's go back and pretend that we get the vendor's invoice. You want to enter that invoice and attach it to the particular receipt. So I'm going to go to Transactions, 
go into purchasing and enter match invoices. It brings up the screen here. I'm going to tab down to the vendor document number. This is the vendor's invoice number. It's a required field, so I'm going to enter that here. I'm going to tab over to the vendor ID. I'm going to look up the vendor ID, select the one that I'm interested in. Then I'm going to click on the auto invoice button up here. This will look at all open receipts. I can select from this then the one the amounts that I want to invoice, the items I want to invoice. I'm going to select these two here. If I wanted to only invoice, say I only got the invoice for five of these eight items, I could change that here. I'm going to hit invoice. Also, if I had a price change, I could enter that price change here. Let's say I got these for three dollars instead. When I do that, I tab off that, you can see that I'm going to get this message here. It's okay. It's also going to put an icon showing that there's a difference between the PO and the vendor's invoice when it came in. If I had some additional items here, I could add those. And again, when I post this, what this is going to do is going to create an invoice in accounts payable. It's also going to relieve that receipt for the amount invoiced off that receipt. So I could save this into a batch, or I could post it online in real time. I'm going to post it right now. So the purchase order processing module in Dynamics GP allows me to create purchase orders, and I can manage those purchase orders to always be aware of my outstanding commitments, and I can receive off those purchase orders and then turn around and apply vendors' invoices to those receipts. Mm -hmm.